Hey there, my name is Alex, I am the Silvermont, and in this video I'm going to be asking the question and discussing the topic, what sort of Dark Souls spin-offs would be nice? Which would you like to see? To date, we've had Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne, all sharing a very similar general gameplay structure. But would the setting work in other type of games? Could it be done? Should it be done? What do you think? From actual spin-offs to other genres to cameos in other games, such as, I don't know, Soleil showing up in Soul Calibur. I'm sure you've all heard the jokes about Bloodborne Kart, which raises another question. Should we have light-hearted spin-offs or serious ones? Semi-related, but I seem to recall that Attack on Titan had a comedy spin-off where they were all in high school or something. Now, I've briefly entertained three sorts of Souls spin-off games in my head. Usually when I'm bored whilst playing one of the games, such as farming Titanite chunks or something equally as exciting. But I'll cover those ideas in this video. And if you've got any ideas of your own for a Souls spin-off, do let me know in the comments. And of course, this is just for fun. You can make a serious suggestion or a stupid one. It's not like FromSoft are going to be reading the comments and coming up with ideas. Or are they? As for me, well, the first sort of spin-off I'd like to see is a character action game, and I'll tell you more about that as these birds in the background make one hell of a racket every time I start recording. Think something in the style of Ninja Gaiden, Devil May Cry, Bayonetta, and so forth. Or perhaps to some extent even like God of War 2018. Now I've joked about it several times before, but effectively what I want is Metal Gear Rising where Strayed replaces Raiden. I find the character of Strayed from Dark Souls 2 an extremely entertaining one, and oh no, I said something positive about Dark Souls 2, that must mean I'm the crazy fanboy. <sighs> ah, but I'd love to see Strayed take the starring role in a spin-off where you play as the powerful sorcerer, prior to the rise of Drang Lake. In an old build of Dark Souls 2, there were suggestions that Strayed and the Lord of Alarphus, or Rumble Land, known as King Alvis, set out to kill an ancient dragon. And there you have the plot for the game. Lots of over-the-top action and powerful magic, large bosses and cinematic finishes. In other words, a lot like Metal Gear Rising, only instead of Raiden splitting Metal Gears wide open, it's Strayed splitting dragons open. How can you not love Strayed's personality? He's a lovable arsehole, the only human in the series able to transmute boss souls, and he made a bunch of pyromancies and sorceries. Although he never uses melee weapons in Dark Souls 2, during some early demos, his armor set was used for a dual swordsman character, and obviously there's no reason he couldn't be using melee weapons if he's got his own game, just because he uses a staff in Dark Souls doesn't mean he can't use melee. And we all know how this game would end, trying to escape what would later become the Lost Bastille, only to be petrified. Post credit sequence saying something like, countless years later, and the bearer of the curse approaching the statue, there's your game of the year, right there. Another idea I've thought about more than once would be a Dark Souls fighting game. Usually I think about one in the sort of Arxis style, you know, Blaze Blue, Dragon Ball Fighters, Fighter Z, Fighter Z, Fighters, whatever, 2D, cell shaded sort of visuals, and each character having a unique gimmick. Kirk could have his thorn damage, Solaire would have his lightning spears, and Patches would be able to, like, I guess his finisher would be kicking you down a hole, and so on and so forth. You could expand this idea in several ways, into either a more realistic sort of fighting game in a 3D space, like Soul Calibur, and when I say realistic, I mean, you know, just in the visuals and it being 3D. Or you could even change it from a fighting game into a Defense of the Ancient style lane-based pseudo-RTS. The main point of this idea being that it's a game that allows you to play as the various characters from across the series. It doesn't really matter what it is. It could be a fighting game, a kart racing game, a Defense of the Ancient style game. Just anything where you get to pick your favorite character and represent them, you know? Like how Smash Bros, the main thing about Smash Bros isn't really the fighting. I mean, yeah, it is. That's a stupid thing to say, but I think the main draw to Smash Bros is playing the characters that you like. You know what I mean? 
Same thing with Heroes of the Storm. I don't really like a Defense of the Ancient style game all that much. I like playing as all these characters that I know. And that's the main point of this idea. It's a game that allows you to play as the various Souls characters from across the series so people can use their favourite, main them, represent them. Personally, I'd totally be down for a Smash Bros kind of style fighter where the characters all have a few special attacks, an ultimate. You could even throw in items like how Smash Bros has it from across the series like Pine Resin that, you know, makes your weapon glow and do extra damage, things like that. Oh, and of course, Fire Bombs, that's like the most obvious item of all. Green Blossom, the Grass, the Estus, I mean, there's so many things that are just popping up in my head as I'm talking about this. You know, it's a perfect fit. There's a lot of characters to choose from, from across the series. Even more if you include Bloodborne, which you probably couldn't because of rights and different publishers. But you know, this is all hypothetical, so why not? I'd probably main Ornstein at any rate. Awesome plume, lion theme, and a banging spear. Penetrator and the Silver Knights are neat as well, and you know what would be really cool? Seeing like an Artorius. Maybe, I mean, maybe we could have two versions of Artorius, or maybe that'd be too much, you know what I mean? pre-Abyss Artorius and post-Abyss Artorius, and they could have, like, uh, special interactions. Pre-Abyss Artorius is all like, hello, good sir, and post-Abyss Artorius is like, Aah! isn't that one of the fun things in games like Dragon Ball Fighters, where you get to see the character interactions that you never really got to see in the actual show or the manga? And maybe it's just me, but I think having Artorius talk to Berserk Artorius, it'd be kind of funny. It would be funny to see Ziegmeier talk to uh, Ziegvert and Sieglind. I mean, what if what if what if Lynn shows up and she's like, oh no, which one is my dad? They're both the same person. Maybe that's just appealing to me. I don't know. I like stupid stuff. I like seeing characters interact with each other. That's always really entertaining to me. It's one reason I really love Warriors Orochi. But finally, I briefly mentioned a Dota style game. But what about something more in line with a traditional real-time strategy? Uh, Age of Empires, Starcraft, um, there's probably more, um, Command and Conquer? I'm not really an RTS person. But you have several factions to choose from right off the bat. You have Anor Londo, Drang Lake, Lothric. Story-wise, well you could say that some time-space nonsense has gone on and all of the lands have converged and popped up at the same time for some reason. Now they want to batter each other because... I don't know, the, the Lord Vessel or something has shown up and all the kingdoms need to vie for supremacy. Build your units, towns and castles, gather resources, wage war, or if you play RTS games remotely in the way I do, just build walls of watchtowers and turrets everywhere. Everywhere. Hell, you even have a lot of the units already in place. Anor Londo would have, you know, hollow soldiers and warriors, silver knights, Silver Knight archers to be the most horrible things ever. They'd be like longbowmen in Age of Empires, who I must admit I use a lot. Hey, it's fine, okay? <laughs> then you have Bat Demons for a flying unit, Dragon Slayers, the Lord's Blade for scouts or spies and assassins. You have, I mean, if you want hero units, then you can have, you know, like Ornstein and so forth. This feels like it would be the easiest game to make in terms of keeping things serious and lore friendly whilst offering a very different sort of game. A bit like Halo Wars, I suppose. You can make it a not canon, but sort of semi-canon thing, saying like, the world has gone really messed up and the special soul has formed in the land of Drang Lothraiklik. An ultimate soul has appeared and whilst the lands are converging, kingdoms old and new are popping up. We can have ones that we already know, like Anor Londo. We could have ones we don't know about, like Olafis. You know, this we could have Astora and Thoraland. There's so many options for it. And I feel like even though it wouldn't be strictly canon, it would make sense in the Dark Souls setting for this story to be taking place. But then again, how many RTS fans are also fans of Dark Souls, I wonder? I don't know how big of a crossover there is there. Like, I always thought Halo Wars was a bit weird because... Halo was, you know, a console shooter. Consoles aren't really known for their real-time strategy games, so I don't really feel like that was the most logical thing for Halo, but maybe for Dark Souls it would make more sense. I don't know. What do you think? 
Again, what ideas do you have for spin-offs? Or should Dark Souls just stop at this point? In all fairness to the franchise, the spin-offs we've had so far have been mostly comics, and wow, those comics just aren't very good at all. Law inconsistencies, bizarre characterization, just kind of bad art, just all around bizarre, unfortunately. I don't really see it translating too well to media in the form of books, films and so forth for Dark Souls. Like, you could make a Dark Souls book, you could make a Dark Souls movie, but I feel like if you made a Dark Souls movie, you wouldn't be able to make a big budget one because it would be so non-traditional that no studio would want to fund and, you know, work on it because they'd be like, this is not like a normal movie, nobody's going to like this, nobody's going to see it because it's so weird. But if you ask me, player agency is simply too important for Dark Souls. You could make like a Dark Souls role-playing game, you know, like a tabletop RPG, but interactive media, games, and stuff like that, those are the only real way they can tell their stories. Unless we go, you know, a comedic route, like an animated series about Gwyn's Four Nights going to high school and Kieran always trying to get the attention of Artorius, but he's too busy with his dog and stuff. Smo is just immense and keeps eating everything, whilst Habble bullies Seath, you know? It's fun to think about now and then, for me. I don't really expect we'll ever be getting a Souls spin-off games, and in some ways I think that's completely fine, because Souls has not even been around 10 years as of time of writing. Demon Souls started in 2009, and then we had Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, and a few Dark Souls clones from other publishers, all in less than 10 years. It's a bit, you know, Assassin's Creed effect. We're getting so much of it, it's understandable people are getting burnt out. So it might be for the best. But until next time, I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it, and I will catch you later. Take care. Ciao.